On to our weekly feature, Smart Farms. And as uncertainty looms over the future of livestock feeds, concerns continue to grow over unprecedented increase in animal feed prices, as well as shortages of this precious commodity. This has led to some farmers embracing unconventional ways to reduce the cost of production while getting quality animal feeds. One of those ways is the rearing of the black soldier fly larva as an alternative source of protein for making the feeds. On tonight's Smart Farm, our very own Dennis Etienne caught up with one farmer who has gone big with this insect. Take a look. One man's meat is another man's poison. It is a saying that Jennifer Mutike, an ambitious new generation farmer, has known too well. An entomologist by profession, Jennifer rears the black soja fly, primarily for its lava, at this farm in Rongai, in the outskirts of Nairobi. Actually started up in October 2018, um, farming the black soja flies. Black soja fly is a type of an insect whose warm the warm stage or the lava stage uh, can be used as an alternative source of protein for animal feeds. Rotten bananas, pineapple peels, mushy avocados and pulped oranges. Just about any organic matter will do for these waste recycling insects. But here we're using the market waste from the market, from Rongai market, and that's what we are using. We are mixing it with uh, a bit of sawdust and a bit of intestines from the slaughterhouse. That's what we are using. Thousands of these lava eat in a twisting mound, sharing a single serving of any kind of organic waste. Her quest to offer a solution to the high cost of feeds in the country drove her to rear the insect. Protein cost in feeds is the most expensive component, accounting for 70% of the total production cost. I come from Kerenyaga County, where 90% of the population is made up of farmers. Upon interacting with these farmers, I came to learn that their greatest challenge is the cost of production. Majority, if not all farmers, have been affected by the issue cost of production. Uh, the cost of fertilizer, animal feeds, is so expensive, almost unaffordable to majority of these farmers. With just 30,000 shillings, one can start the venture. You get to harvest the lava stage after about 21 days. You dry it, you sun dry it, then you later either grind or formulate it with your feeds, or uh, you can either feed it when it's still alive to your chicken, to your fish, and to your pigs. A kg of the larvae goes for 130 shillings, that is the dried larvae for your feeds and the fertilizer goes for 1,500 shillings. A 50 kg bag of the fertilizer goes for 1,500 shillings. But there are a few challenges in rearing the black soja fly lava. Currently, the greatest challenge is the fact that it's an unconventional business idea. So majority of the farmers have not yet known much about it. So what we are doing about that, we are training them in groups women groups or youth groups, where we are going to the groups and training them, educating them more about the black soldier flies and how they can use it to help cut on their cost of production. We always have innovation of rats, eh? uh, which are attracted by, the, by, by whatever we have. So they come from outside there, they come to see whether they can have something to bite. Yeah, and in the process, they damage uh, some of this uh, uh, material we have. With an increasing demand for protein sources, Farmers are looking for sources that are readily available and sustainable. Jennifer and her colleague believe that the black soldier fly is the right insect to fill that gap. Denis Otieno, Smart Farm.